MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Herco VM10UI, five axis machining center. Can you tell me about it? Right, uh, essentially this is our entry level into uh, five axis machining. It's our smallest machine with regards to five axis machining. Um, the U refers to the fact that it's a, a trunnion type of machine where you have the extra axis you have is an A axis and a C axis. Okay, what's the capacity? Your X, Y and Z travel is 533 by 406 and by 483 in Z. And what about things like the speed of the machine, the spindle speed, what people can expect from it? Uh, spindle speed it comes in a standard at 10,000 RPM, but you can uh, increase that up to uh, 20,000 and 30,000. So Nick, we've spoken about the axis travel. What about the actual diameter of the table so you can denote what sort of workpiece you can fit? Right, well, the, basically uh, the diameter of the table is 198 millimetres. But what you can do is you can put a vice on top of that which just raises it up, which sort of increases that sort of capacity a little bit more as well. And when we talk about five axis, you can achieve negative angles with this machine? Uh, yes, you can. And then the rapids, so when people are looking at metal removal and how quick the machine moves? Uh, metal removal, feed rates, a maximum of 15.2 metres per minute. Okay. Tool changer? Uh, 20 station, and it's rapid tool changing. From tool to spindle, three seconds. And it is a small five-axis machine in centre. It looks like it's housed in a very neat little footprint. Uh, basically, it's the same footprint as our standard VM10, so it's basically a two-metre cube. Okay, with five-axis machining, you might need things like through-spindle coolant. That's available, is it? Uh, yeah, that's an option. Um, and you've got the, the ring coolant where the, uh, the coolant goes right the way around the uh, spindle. And with swarf extraction, standard swarf conveyors? Again, yeah, you've got swarf conveyors, um, sort of standard ones, or you can have the actual chip conveyor as well. So what does come standard with the machine? Uh, you've got a direct drive Z-axis and with no counterbalance, um, and your AEC is a very high reactive torque in the A and C axis of the rotary axis. So we've actually spoken about the machine, we've looked at the specification, what comes with the machine. Why would someone opt for a small five-axis machining centre? Uh, basically a component, like for example, that you've got inside the machine at the moment, um, you've basically got one setup and one setup only. All right. A lot of the programming can be done straight from the conversational side of the program and you can run it in conjunction with NC programming as well with the option to actually have the NC merge within your conversational program. So the main advantage is the fact that a lot of components you can do and you've only got one setup, thus reducing uh, machining time. So you don't necessarily have to program off offline. With the Herco control, you can do a lot of five axis programming here. Yeah, the way it works with the vectors now, um, the type of programming, you're basically um, just transforming the plane, which is, it's got a common dating point, and you're just basically putting X, Y figure and Z figures um, to actually transform the plane to change that datum into where you want to actually mach machine. So this is the entry level five axis machine from Herco. So if someone's looking to small, uh, machine multi-sided components or machine multi-phase components, this would be ideal. It would be ideal, yes. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.